It's retro time! I don't know how many of you are 90s kids, but uh, when I first saw this whole thing, it was kind of mind-blowing. Like, why are there three? Why is it this? Why can't I use this? I mean, it's a classic, but it doesn't mean that it can't be improved upon. Enter the Retro Fighters Brawler 64 Wireless Edition. Now this is wireless, like it says, and it is a complete redesign of the uh, original Nintendo 64 controller. In fact, it looks more like a Switch Pro controller than anything else. I thought third-party controllers suck. Yeah, yeah, third-party controllers usually do suck. This is uh, my Super Pad 64 from back in the day. Oh, that's so rough. Oh, all the buttons feel terrible. Uh, this is the controller that I would have used for my sister or somebody. It's not good. For Christmas one year. I think my dad got it for me. Sorry, dad. This is a third-party controller, yes, but it's a third-party controller developed by fans of the console and of retro gaming. Uh, obviously, we also have the Retro Fighters Striker DC over here, which I think was their first controller. Didn't bring my Dreamcast today because I didn't think we'd have them on set, but uh, there you go. <laughs> on the back of the box here, it's a next generation N64 controller, and I think that they are not lying. 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology. Well, I mean, that's pretty standard for wireless, but uh, hopefully that means it's zero lag. Uh, wireless range over 30 feet, that's great. Uh, ergonomic and comfortable design, we shall see. Compatible with memory packs, that is huge because like, when was the last time this socket, whatever connector has been made? Like, I mean, that's a Nintendo proprietary thing, I am sure. Responsible, and uh, responsible. <laughs> uh, responsive analog stick, which uh, if you uh, compare to this third party thing, like, ooh, oh, you can hear that, it's creaking. I don't know how, how much that comes through, but it's, it's a bad experience. Let's take a look at this. All right. So obviously we've got the uh, red plastic one. I'm just gonna take it out of the tray here and lay it to the side. We've got this, uh, ooh, a little keychain. It's like a little uh, little pixelated figure. I think that's one of their mascots. Oh, approximately 2.5 hours of fully charged, oh, to fully charge the battery. Approximately 10 plus hours before you need to recharge. Oh, this is really cool. Instead of having a like N64 memory pack adapter slot in the back here, it's got it on the connector. So it just goes straight in like that. And it like stands up, like it, it plugs in vertically. And I actually have <clears throat> my old memory card, uh, but that yeah, just goes straight in like that. No clip or anything, cause you don't really need it. You're not like banging it around like you might with uh, an N64 controller because this is connected directly into the console. And oh, Oh, the feel, the feel is much nicer. Like the plastic feels like it's got a real kind of a cheapish texture, but it's actually more like a satin finish. Uh, you can tell that it, yeah, it, I'm trying to like flex it and it's not, it's not flexing like at all, basically. Uh, it is, it is solid plastic. Compare that to my original N64 controller. Yeah, it's waving to you. <laughs> Triggers feel, a little less snap to them than the N64 controller. Uh, face buttons, they're a bit snappier. Yeah, yeah, the original N64 face buttons were a little bit mushier than this. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays out in gameplay. It'll probably break in over time, but I remember this being always kind of mushy. 164 grams, that is 0.361 pounds or 5.7 ounces, 0.18, two grams or 0 0.401 pounds or 6.4 ounces. So that's significant. And if I add the cable, that's like, what is it? Like 25% more? They both don't have rumble. That's true. They both don't have rumble. The main thing about the rumble pack is that it was actually an add-on. So you'd have to plug it into this slot here. Even if this had rumble built into it, the game would need to support it and you wouldn't be able to use a memory card at the same time. Uh, the memory card slot, or the, the expansion slot, I guess, controller expansion pack, uh, only 
slotted in one device at a time. There was no hub or splitter or anything like that that was available. Games that support both a memory card and a rumble pack, you had to remove your memory card and insert rumble pack for gameplay. Then when it came time to save, remove your rumble pack and insert your memory card to save. Well, that's just what we, we, we had to put up with back then. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, because Sony had to like one up Nintendo and actually make a standard for controller design that lasted. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, <laughs> that which nobody wants to touch. <laughs> <clears throat> There's the charging cable and it's along with everything else. This is type C like, holy crap. And it obviously comes in multiple different colors. This here is the classic one that actually looks pretty classy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get this going. And I'm really excited to talk to you about our sponsor, Shells. Shells.com offers secure personal cloud computers that can be accessed from anywhere on almost any device. It runs in your web browser, so it works on your phone, computer, or even on your TV. You can open a brand new high-speed computer in under five minutes. They've got options for both Windows and various Linux systems with no hidden fees, with pricing starting at just $4.95 a month. Give your computer a break and try a virtual desktop at the link below. All right, what should I play? Golden Eye. Ah, uh, yeah, Golden Eye. Yeah, this has to be a very old monitor. It's super it's thick. This is why we need a RetroTrink 5X Pro. You know what? GoldenEye has a 16 by nine mode. What? <laughs> Did you know that? No. It does. That's awesome. Check this out. Oh God, the frame rate's so bad. <laughs> did I change the control scheme back? What control scheme did I like? Was it Kissy? Okay, I'm just gonna change the default control scheme. I don't remember how to play this anymore <laughs> with that control scheme. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is not the most precise controller <sighs> okay, I think that's enough of that. Let's try sniping with the dip with the other one. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right, just picked right up. Yeah, the C buttons are a little rough, but this stick is way nicer. It is super easy to move that cursor around. I can't see. The thing is like smudged. The game is so blurry. Except I know this is how it's supposed to look because there are people who actually go out of their way to make it look not like this. Um, however, I will say the stick feels amazing. The uh, C buttons will take a little bit of getting used to. They're a little bit snappier than I would uh, prefer. I kind of prefer them a little bit mushy like the N64 controller, but that could just be like force of habit. But yeah, GoldenEye and 16 by nine. How about that? Um, okay, so, uh, okay, l let, me, let me just quickly try the bad controller. Yeah. Oh no. Is it as bad as I think it is? Or am I just hamming it up? Like if I try to aim, like, uh, like each one of these little steps that I'm doing is the controller, like the stick, like moving a little bit because it's like stuck. Little, little motions I'm trying to make, I cannot do because this thing is so bad. Like I'm not, I'm not even kidding. The ergonomics of this controller is so bad that it actually hurts. God, the stick is super tall too, it's stupid. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> it's almost like putting on an ice pack. Okay, let's try something less shootery and more more drivery. That should that should maybe give the performance pad a bit of a, I don't, I don't know. Oh, my saves are still, wait. Yeah, they are still here. There's my sister and there's me. I need a game key, like I need a game shark like right now to copy all the saves off of this onto a new memory card because this thing is going to die any day. <laughs> Seriously, these these are ba battery backed. Like this is a CR2032 from back in the day. I need to get these saves off of here. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so just flying around, this this feels pretty normal, but I mean, I'm using a normal N64 controller. Let's uh let's swap out to the Retro Fighters and see how that feels. Andy, is it not to swap it out during the gameplay? My saves. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I grabbed it by the power pack and that made it like, it, it jostled a little bit. Uh, let me make sure that the saves are... Whoop. We can test the functionality. I'm gonna feel so sad, it's all gone. Come on, game. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I, need to, I need to get a game shark like now. I'm not, I don't remember how to play this game. 
but like I can actually like make subtle movements with it. Like I don't have to be like banking completely all the time. Like I can just kind of sort of smoothly do it, which is not something I can do with the N64 controller that I had. Yeah, don't grab it by the power. That's uh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, actually, this is this is pretty easy to play. I like it. Um, I don't know why I didn't like it as much as Mario Kart. Maybe because of the frame rate. So I'm gonna try again with the Retro Fighters. Uh oh. Oh no, it did do that. Oh, interesting. So the amount of power that required caused my old N64 to blip out for a second there. Probably because of old capacitors in this thing. But that is something that you'd have to bear in mind, is that uh, it does require power. More power than a normal controller would. Dude, look at that drift. How does it feel? It feels good. It's it's a little bit weird because I'm still not used to the position of the, uh, the Z button. The fact that I can get to every button on the controller is really nice. I don't know why Nintendo didn't let you do that before. But like, yeah, I can take that turn and I don't have to be like constantly like back and forth like that. I can be like, yeah. Well, I came in first this time and uh, I came in second last time. So uh, I guess that's a win for the uh, Retro Fighters. I'm not gonna try this. I, I, th that was a meme, I'm not gonna try this. I don't know. Uh, what's the price of these things? I feel like they're 50 bucks. In my head it's 50 bucks. It's 39.99. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, well at 40 bucks, this thing is a steal. Let me tell you that right now. If you get 10 hours of battery on this for, per charge and you can plug it into a computer and you can, can you, can you, can you give me your laptop real quick? I wanna see if I can, like this thing is cheap, but it's not cheaply made, like it's solid. See if it shows up. Uh, maybe I need to on this. It may purely be for charging. In which case, I mean, it's not a huge deal. If you have an N64 to USB adapter, Ooh. this will work. Wait, we have one, don't we? Do we? Let's see. All right. We're setting up 4Play port 1. Hmm, 4Play. Game controller settings. Properties. It's not that one. Oh, man, I may need the power supply for this. Uh. It's not worth it. Yeah, it might be that this requires too much power. Just like when I plug it into the uh, to the N64, it uh, it does this whole thing. Oh, it didn't do it this time. Oh. This thing is amazing. Like, there's so much more precise control you can get for the N64. This feels so much more freeing. Uh, it's it's difficult to really describe how much better it is. And at thirty nine dollars. If you've got an N64, you really probably should look at it. And it's wireless. Like, you get a wireless controller in the color of your choice that is solid. And if you've got an old N64 that you're trying to run and you've got like a creaky old controller that, you know, may or may not still be useful, it, it seems like a no brainer. Cause like buying one of these in reasonable condition is gonna be roughly the same price, probably. Can't speak to the quality of the Hyperkins, but I can speak to the quality of this. This is amazing and I would recommend it. And that's it for this one. Um, I don't know if we wanna do one on this. Uh, I don't know, let, let me know if you wanna do more retro stuff like this. I mean, doesn't seem to do that great, but uh, if you want it, we'll do it. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe. Hmm, foreplay. Uh...